Hi, I'm Terry Ballard. I am a retired librarian living in Long Island and a little bit of a history buff. And somehow in the intersection of those two things, I began a project to take old photographs of Civil War veterans provided by the Library of Congress on Flickr, brighten them up, and increase the file size and make them quite a bit more visible. So for the next few minutes I'm going to take you through the process and how this is done and what it looks like. Back in 1990 or so the Library of Congress began scanning a large collection of these photographs of Civil War veterans and their families and it was uh, scanned to the best standards of the time, but now things have changed a lot, and we need a little bit more image, or a little, little bit more detail in these images. So here's how I'm going to go about taking this photograph on Flickr brightening it up, and then increasing the file size, adding it to my account in Flickr, and making it zoomable. We'll see what that means and what it looks like. First step is for me to download the file from their account. I just put it in the uh, standard out-of-the-box uh, Microsoft graphics program. That's really all you needed to work with for this phase of the project. So I'm in edit mode now. The surface area is fine. So now let's move on to work the, uh, the lighting effects. I start with contrast. You notice the picture is kind of dull and gray already. I'm going to make it darker so that I can go to exposure and make it lighter. Bring this man to life. That's about enough. These are ten types that were hand tinted in a collection of 1200 or so images, and the tinting is almost almost faded to oblivion over time, but by using this I can bring it out a little if there's any there to bring out. Okay, by, by adjusting the saturation, warmth, and tint, we get something that looks much more realistic. So I'm going to save this to my hard drive. Save as a copy, and I have a folder just uh, for these types of pictures. So I'm going to give it the name CIV-161. Meaning it's the 161st picture I've, did in, I've done in this project. Okay, there it is, showing its name. So I'm going to get Put this to bed now, and then go on to the next program. This is where the real magic happens. It's a program called Gig Gigapixel AI, and as you can tell by the name, it's an artificial intelligence-based program. So I would call it up, I browse images, it's looking in the right directory, so let's go down past all of the past recipients. There's a lot of them now. Here it is. So we call him up, hit open. 
and all I have to do at this point is hit save image and it does the rest. takes about 45 seconds to a minute to get through this, and it's worth the wait, believe me. Okay, done. So now I get to go back to Flickr, since I have a file that's completely ready to work with. I'm going to leave him up for the moment and call up a second episode of Flickr and upload the file. From the Google Gigapixel directory and since we're not there, we will go to pictures. Pictures. And Gigapixel. You will recall the the number is Civil War 161. So we're just about there. There we are. Now I give it a name. Instead of the machine name, we will call it. Union Soldier. I will add it to the album of all the other Civil War soldiers. There we go. Civil War Portraits Enhanced. This is a file in my, or a album in my Flickr directory that you can go to and see the whole bunch. Going to add to a few groups, clicker groups. It's about a, a dozen I use that are related to the Civil War, Civil War imagery, Civil War stuff, and veterans of the American Civil War. That's that will be enough to help get the word out. And now we're ready 